and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you an entry into a contest. It Cosmetics is putting on um, their yearly contest. The way that it works is it starts out with round one. So many people are, can enter and they give you a theme to base your video on. This year the first round's theme is your most beautiful you. From the people that enter there is a certain criteria that you know they have to follow with how their description boxes are set up all that good stuff and you know, they base you know the creati the creativity um, votes all that kind of stuff is taken into account for who moves on to the next round so many people will move on to the next round where a new theme will be given and then you have the finals so this is the first round and like I said the theme is your most beautiful you now you could do any kind of video you wanted for this you could do a makeup tutorial to show your most beautiful you or you could like discuss your most beautiful you and I chose that one I decided I'm going to tell you what I consider to be my most beautiful me so as a beauty youtuber and I say beauty youtuber because I'm obviously not you know, I don't do a lot of like tutorials and stuff like that. I would say I'm more of a lifestyle YouTuber. So in that kind of, in that kind of, you know, bracket and being, you know, I review beauty products over on my blog. Most of the times you see me, you see me like this. I got on moisturizer. I got on primer. I have on foundation. I have on setting powder, blush, um, eyeshadow primer, eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara lipstick, eye products, I mean, you know, eyebrow products, and my hair is, you know, brushed and all kinds of stuff like that. It's down, it's, you know, for the most part, I try to keep the flyaways down, all that jazz. So this is how, you know, I get all made up in order to be on camera because, let's face it, the internet world, it's harsh. Uh, even made up like this, I've had criticisms on my video before telling me how I don't do things right, how I don't look right. In the real world, when I get made up like this and I go out, you know, I get made fun of because of my size, all that jazz. So while I get made up like this, I don't necessarily consider this to be my most beautiful me. <sighs> Shocked, I know. Um, as much as I love beauty products, and that is why I do this, I do not put myself out there just to talk about products you know and get all made up and all this stuff I do it because I love makeup I love playing with makeup products I love putting them on and that is why I do this I do it because I love what I do I love being able to tell you what products that work for me and possibly be able to help you not only pick products that work for you but to kind of teach you things that you may not know you know I am 100% currently self-taught I am about to go back to school so what that means is, is that for you if you don't if you've never been to cosmetology school you may not know some of the things that I've picked up but then again you may know more than me and you know I always welcome constructive criticism telling me you know different tips and tricks in the comments and stuff like that so while I love doing this that does not mean that I consider this to be my most beautiful me um, the average day, I will wear a pair of track pants, a very nerdy t-shirt. Um, I will have my hair kind of pulled up in like a kind of half bun thing, you know, where you take the ponytail and before you pull the ponytail all the way out that last time, you leave it half tucked in. I run around like that. Sometimes my hair will be down, but I live in the South. I live in the bottom of South Carolina. And what that means is it is hot and it is humid and this hair weighs a lot so the issue is is that when I wear it down and especially if I'm going out like grocery shopping and stuff this gets heavy and it gets icky so I will pull it up to get it off my neck so it's not as hot on top of that I have eczema I don't know if you could see them but I have little red patches a lot of people don't like those they turn a lot of people you know they make a little people go er. I have them on my face as well so I cover them up for like YouTube and blog posts and stuff like that. But when I go out, I don't really care. And I kind of just let it, I just let myself be me. That is what I consider to be my most beautiful me. When I'm just kind of hanging around at the house 
and you know I'm talking to my husband I'm talking to my birds I'm talking to my dog you know I'm playing around with my dog you know basically when I am just I don't really you know I, I don't care that that is when I consider to be my most beautiful thing because right now I'm worried you know is my mascara gonna flake off? Is the eyeliner gonna transfer to the top? Am I gonna get lipstick on my teeth? Am I gonna do this? Am I gonna do that? And in my opinion, when you worry so much about that, you lose part of that inner beauty, which is what makes people beautiful. You can have somebody that is the most made up and they can still be the most ugliest person that you've ever met. And I know at least one of them. So that inner beauty goes for a lot to be your most beautiful you and you don't always need makeup to cover that and worrying constantly about what people are thinking I think that diminishes a lot of that most beautiful you so when I'm not worried about it whether I'm wearing makeup or not when I'm just kind of hanging out being me that is when I'm my most beautiful so that is my entry into the IT Cosmetics contest. Hopefully you liked it. I'm willing to bet some of you did not. Um, if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave me a comment down below telling me why. Constructively though. Until next time, follow me on the social media down below. And bye!